Now let's look at using the border count method. Here we're given a preference table and we want to determine the winner using the border count method. The border count method uses point totals where the last choice is only given one point. So we're going to have one point for fourth choice and then moving up we'll have two points for third, three points for second, and four points for first. We now determine our point totals by multiplying the number of points times the number of votes in each column. So we're going to begin by multiplying 4 times 240 to give us 960. 3 times 240 gives us 720. 2 times 240 gives us 480. 1 times 240 is 240. Moving to our next column, 4 times 160 is 640. 3 times 160 is 480. 2 times 160 is 320. And 1 times 160 is 160. In our last column, 4 times 60 is 240. 3 times 60 is 180. 2 times 60 is 120. And 1 times 60 is 60. To determine the winner, we're going to now tally the points for each candidate. So we're going to run through the columns. A will end up getting, from the first column of votes, 960 points. Plus, next column, 160. And last column, 180. That totals 1,300 points. Let's go to candidate B. First column will give B 720 points. Next column, 480 points. And last column, 60 points. That gives us a total of 1,260 points. Continuing on to candidate C, in our first column of votes, C will receive 480 points. In the next column, C receives 640 votes and in the last column, 120 votes. That gives us a total of 1,240 votes, or 1,240 points. And finally, D gets 240 points plus 320 points plus 240 points for a total of 800 points. Our winner will be the candidate with the most number of points. That occurs for candidate A with 1,300 points, and A is going to be the winner.